Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for free on your computer, uh, the PC version. Now, there is quite a lot of tutorials on the internet and I am aware of that, but the ones that I watched didn't actually give me the answer, there was always something missing which I had to figure out myself. So I'm just going to make a straight up video now in 2013, voice tutorial. Bam, I'm going to give you all the files, it's going to work splendid for you. So basically what you're going to want to do is install uh the link's in the description so winzip how i put a torrent from pirate bay and of course you torrent if you don't already have it uh that will also be in the description and you're going to need a program called power iso which will also be in the description so just you know download all the ones in the description that's all we have to do <coughs> once you've done that uh, so obviously if you're on Pirate Bay in the UK and you it says site blocked then what you're going to want to do is go to hidemyass.com I'll show you what I mean first of all it will say site blocked here so you're just going to want to go to hidemyass.com paste in the Pirate Bay link in here and click hide my ass and then it will take you into an actual uh, the same website just for the UK it kind of hides your IP address so they can't block you uh, then click get this torrent right here and once you've done that it will show up in your uTorrent folder and when it's all downloaded double click on it and uh, double click on the Prisoner of Azkaban also if, uh, yeah, so just double click on that and um, if it says use evaluation copy if something comes up saying blah 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 just click use evaluation copy so when you double click on this and it's extracted um, it should give you a HPOA file, so open that up. HPOA, sorry. <coughs> um, once you've done this, just click the setup and it will prompt you to um, put the product key in, the serial. So basically, this will also be in the description. Just copy and paste this in the description uh, and paste it into the, or the serial it asks you to do. Also, if you're given this Power ISO thing here, uh, which it might not, but I think it will. Just right click on it, click Power ISO, uh, mount, and then um, click, say, I don't know, the second one or something. So that way it won't, if it says something like, please insert disk one or whatever, then that's what you're going to have to do. You just look for this uh, Power ISO file and click uh, mount, and then choose one of your five drives or whatever. If you don't have any drives, all you have to do is set a number of drives and then set however many you want uh, and then it will all be there so basically then once you've installed it you'll get this file here which will of course work and you'll have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on your computer so if this has helped you then please rate below if you have any problems don't hesitate to you know leave a comment or PM me but I'm pretty sure yeah, you won't have any problems I'll also put my Skype name below, so if you do have any problems, there's a quick way to sort of get hold of me. Because I know sometimes comments can take days, maybe even weeks for response, but I'm on Skype pretty much every day. So I'll see your, uh, you know, plead for help on there anyway. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.